Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Force We Play. Today we have another exciting match between Son Goku, the new search leader, versus the Migra. So for this matchup, um, I'm playing the Migra, my brother's playing the Search Goku. And just playing him, I think I might have to do some changes to the Migra deck. Just because Search Goku is able to play a lot of counter let's say battle cards on my turn which you know kind of it's kind of for, hard for me to get rid of and um, you guys will see some of those plays in this video so like right now he he went first and then i went second i was able to attack twice but, so i want to upgrade him down as fast as i can bef before he's, he gets too much energy and it's able to like play big threats during my turn Especially, you know, the topo. And also in this video, I want to kind of talk about a few things about the the new balance that came out recently. So with the new balance, I think that, that in my opinion, it, it was good that they banned objection. Objection will make like other decks you'll be you know, just be able to wrap faster to get big threats on the board. Obviously, right now. You know the the yellow, the yellow red leaders or like the yellow red decks don't really use objection, but like the one that one was mixed with blue, so they could potentially use objection and then ramp up so they have more energy to play. You know the threats that they want to play during during your opponent's turn. Also, the other band was was the top pie pie and also the. Well, we're we'll just talk about Tao. Tao, I mean, it did put in check Topo, kind of, but you know, it was once per turn, so you really couldn't do. Um, I mean, it was just once per turn, so it, uh, if they attacked you once, and then Topo, and, you know, you made them discard three cards, but then that would just be for one for one of the attacks. So I mean, Tao, I mean, it was good. But uh, it's okay that they banned it. I'm not really too worried about that. Also, the the other one was the TN. TN. It kind of did hurt, but not as much as the town, I guess. But in general, all the bands were pretty, pretty good, pretty solid. Also, just banning straight out the the kneeling trunks was pretty good because even at one you know the search leaders could abuse it a little bit so overall the bands were good i know some people were were mad that the gojira didn't get hit but i mean gojira i mean he's not doing anything this this format you know with the new search you know people were saying that piccolo was gonna make it broken and nothing really happened you no know, red yellow is still the better deck and it was you know but I, there were some people that were i think were playing it at the pvg i mean not the pvg the at uh, the regionals in chicago and they didn't i mean i think one of them top uh, i can't remember but there were most of it was just uh the yellow red goku so if gojira would have done something in that event, in the regional event, I think they would have done. I think they would have banned him or limit limit Gojira, but since he didn't do anything, and I don't think he's gonna do anything in set nine. I don't think it's they didn't do it. It's fine that they didn't do anything to Gojira. So right now let's go back into this matchup. So right now I had right there I had to I think yeah I roll around because I didn't have. The, um, the the migra so that I play it also because he top on me last turn you no know, I couldn't really do anything else so I get one well while playing him I kind of noticed that too that you know usually the migra summons like a bunch of things in one turn and then he attacks but playing against you know red you always kind of first attack and see if they play a topo or something because you don't want to extend too much and then you know you get topo or you get you know Vegeta like I did right now 
No, because I bet you that minus minus 20k everything. So everything basically goes to the drop. And so also they say if we if we had a legitimate when I attack it, we had a topo, we would play the topo, and I would you know I would have like a bunch of things on the field that maybe next turn you could just play hit a Vegeta on, on his turn and just pop everything. Also, you know, if some people are running Kami just against the Miguel, they could just play the Miguel and just pop everything. So it's 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 okay not to extend too much. It's better for you to just attack with your one thing at a time. And if they're on top of you, then you know you just keep attacking. Do summon on the other stuff, you know, the other place, summon summon more things. And then because if they if you attack first and then they topo, you no, know, there's no there's no need for you to just extend more. Just pass because I mean topo is basically they play and then you just pass because you don't wanna discard cards from your hand. Also talking about the discarding hands so I know people are thinking that because Top Pai Pai, you know, got banned, the hand destruction decks are gonna come back. But I mean, like I said, even if, if it is, they they really they're really not doing anything. Tao only stops them for one for one of the effects, not for all the effects because it says once per turn. And so even even if they don't want to discard anything. You know, they could still make you discard more cards than they have on on their hand because I've I've been through that before. And when uh, when I was playing one time in my locals, I was playing Gogeta, and the uh, other person was playing. I think it was Cell. And it was the Android leader, but with Cell in it. And and I had a towel on on, my, on the board just to stop them from you know from them discarding cards from my hand. But then he still did it, and then he got rid of most most of my cards, and then I got rid of his hand. But you know, he still did it, and it almost cost me the game. But because you know I was playing Gogeta, I was able to to just kill him, and then my next turn. But you know, sometimes you know when they, they know they could still kill you when you have the towel on the on the field. Now the discard their whole hand just to make you discard your your hand so yeah so Tao I mean it's not a big deal if it gets banned it's okay so right here you know I summon the the turlies and then they pass now it's his turn so now I'm trying to protect him because I know he wants to get rid of it because the you neutralis know, is a big threat against him because he could turn into a 15k and, and, and it's already a dual attacker so he could attack twice and he either has to take it or he has to combo but right now he's already with uh, 4 energy so you know, he already has enough energy from you know, to to play things on my turn so like I said, like I wanna aggro him as fast as as fast as I can, because I wanna get him too much energy to play with. Because the more energy that he, that he has, the harder it gets. It's for me to the harder it is for me to um, to win. Because then he could just keep playing Vegetas or Topos, you know, and just stop me from doing anything. So right there, he activated his surge. You know, playing against search leaders is kind of annoying, especially the red one, because uh, one of the effects is that he becomes a crit and he gets plus 10k for the whole turn. So they could use that defensively. Let's say you attack them, then then they activate their their effect because it's you know active battle as well, not just active main. The, the effect is active battle and main, so defensively they they get attacked. They activate the effect, so they become they become a 25k, you know, the whole turn. So then you have to combo to 25. So it's you know it's another way of of, the, of them getting rid of your cards. And I say you combo to 25, then they just have to get rid of one card for your two cards. And uh, it's not really worth that attacking their leader unless you're gonna go for the kill that turn. 
So that's one part, one annoying part of the new leaders is that another annoying thing is um, like for this, yeah, this also the red yellow one. You no, know, you could get it's basically a, a bloodlust ignoring barrier against everything on the field. So let's say you got there, there are two life, like right here, they are. I mean, my brother is, and I saw in the mirror, right. So I'm gonna attack him, and he has either two options: either a combo it, or play something to kill the mirror, or he can activate the search effect, and then um, the active battle effect, and uh, basically just wipe the 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 skills from the mirror, so it become a single strike because it's ignoring barrier. I mean, the the mirror, I mean, the mirror doesn't have barrier, but if it did, it will go over barrier. So that's another annoying part of it. So like right here, you know, he, instead of doing the effect, then he just got rid of it with, uh, with the beers that gives pops a 30k or less. So that's another tool that you know, the red yellow leaders have. You know, all these dual color cards, you know, the red cards. And right now, I mean, uh, with set 9 about to come out, I still think red yellow is gonna be pretty good. You know, it has a lot of control. It gets rid of things on the field on you know on your opponent's turn, which is the most important thing. Because you wanna play things on their turn, not on yours. Because then you're just wasting your energy and, and you know, leaving yourself open to their attacks or their combos. So playing things on your opponent's turn is on your opponent's turn is always better. That way you have threats on the field and you have free energy on your turn. So right here I'm just trying to get him to one to one life. Um but yeah like when he combos out he still has I think one effect or two the two effects active on the leader. The good thing is that they don't draw on the I guess you, you could call it the awakened side on the yeah, awakened search side but I mean my brother's playing the kid Goku the great apes that you just banish it or you know send it to the warp play two energy and draw two so that's the way that's the way that he draws on the awakened side so right here I activated you know my my wormhole so I was able to to summon another um on the battle card you're saying um overrun so i was able to drop them to one so then right here you know i put those two back summon that the second turn lead attack him now he's at one so now even if he if he negates my um my skills i still have a dual attacker Because the dual attacker, once it it once it attacks, it's already it already activates. So no matter what he does, it's still gonna go back to active mode. So even if he negates his skills or anything, he's still going to back to active mode because he already activated. So here I'm comboing. I'm trying to not to combo too much because I mean I still have another attack, and also let's say he uh, combos that. Then you know, I wanna get, I don't wanna leave myself open with basically with no hand and just pass turn. Cause either way I would just lose. So right here I'm just trying to play kind of safe but also aggressive at the same time. So that he plays the you know that effect that he gains plus 10k. So you know he accomplishes that because of that. So now I have another attack. But it's kind of risky at this point. Like I could go for the attack or just pass and just leave that turtles there for defensive. So that's what I do. Go right here. No, he attacks me. I'm at three life, but he could become a twenty-five. 25 um, K crit right now because of the effect that he has. That's another annoying thing is that it's crit. It 
it just doesn't give you the 10k that's what becomes a crit so you either I'll combo it or take the crit and the card still goes to the drop area it doesn't matter what you do so right here is at 25 because it's gonna activate so it's at 35 now crit 35 double strike crit and your rivals to yeah so that one is the broly that when he arrivals you could um put to resmo one one of your opponent's battle cards so he puts my energy i mean not battle cards any card so he puts my energy so yeah so i mean i'm not gonna i don't have enough to show combo 45 no 55 actually double strike so here attacking you know, i mean that's it you know that's what I, I was looking for i was looking for my negates but unfortunately it was in my life i mean that's that you know so leave, leave in the comments what you got thought about the ban list about this matchup if you want to see any other deck profiles let us know in the comments below and remember to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time